Alright, um, here we go, a new tutorial series. Um, well, technically I already made a, a scrolling text tutorial by now. This is the name of the tutorial. I'm kind of making them a reverse. Um, it's going to look a lot like, like this. Uh, it's based off of One Man Army Games tutorial that was made a while ago. Like, a year or two ago, I forget. But, um, yeah, even though it's based off that, it's takes some time to getting used to it. He talks about a bunch of other stuff in the meantime. Um, one thing I would recommend before doing this tour is make sure you have the string tokenizer object. So I'm just going to paste that into here. And dang it, into this frame. And then, uh, yeah. And then uh, we'll get started. Make sure you have this. Uh, if you have Multimedia Fusion 2, I'll put a link it for it. But uh, you should be able to go to Manager and find it in here. Okay. So what we're going to need are two strings. Okay. So that's one. This will be for your name. Also, there's one more I put in for tutorial for the uh, if you saw the instructions for how to put in your name. Um, but we're not going to focus on that right now. This text is going to be empty, but we're going to name it, oh, not duplicate it, rename it, oops, player one's name, but you can call it whatever you want. Okay, and then we're going to make another string, pick whatever font you want, I like Verdona, Verdona, whatever. I like to keep the uh, text size consistent. And what we're gonna do with this is gonna be a bit tedious, but you're gonna put the letters of the alphabet. E, C, D, e. Oops. And you're going to need a space in between. Uh, so you're probably wondering what's this about. Well, it's about uh, how you will put your name. There's a bunch of other characters you can use. But I think going with uh, this much for now will be uh, pretty good. Uh, let's uh, center this. Okay. And, um, shoot. And we'll just leave it calling it a string right now. Then you're going to go to create. Then go to backdrop object, and then put it here, keep it white, and then there you go. Now there's going to be a bit of transparency, but what we're going to do, double click, I'm zoomed in, um, go here, copy, okay, and then you're going to make a counter object, and initial value 1, normal value 1, maximum value uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Yes, I did. Don't count the uh, the amount of. Yeah, okay, we'll make an animation and uh, paste. Yes. Oh wait, wait. That's right. Make it new. I forgot. New. And then uh, because of the transparency, we make the back black and then we add it in and then we make it transparent ah dang it the cube got caught up in there let me see if I can uh, fix that go over to the cube and shoot okay so now I'm gonna paint that black and then make that transparent Wow, that cube looks messed up, but I'm just going to deal with it. Okay, then we're going to make all these parts transparent, like they're supposed to be. Okay, and once we've got that all right, you can make lowercase and stuff like that if you really want to 
give people that option. But because this is a tutorial, I really want to keep this as short as possible. And uh, we're going to keep the counter but delete the backdrop. And the thing about the counter object is this is where you'll be, uh, you know, making the player name thing work. So in this counter, we're going to copy, paste, over, 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 until we have, well, enough. Copy, paste, paste, and one more time, paste. And except for frame one, leave that out. We're going to color all of these uh, letters a different color. Let's go with white for frame two, frame three. Yeah, this is going to get tedious. So once you're done with all of this, or if you want, there's other ways you can do it. You can make a, the color, like, let me pick a more standout color. Like, you can make it like select the letter, and you can go across that way. But you need to make sure that everything uh, here is, yeah. But instead of doing the, like all of it, um, I'm going to just uh, go back to this one. And once you have all that done, we're going to go into coding. And again, here's the tutorial thing. You can enter this string like once the uh, tutorial is done. Okay. Make sure you have the string tokenizer because that's really important. And uh, yeah, there should be more to do. Okay, we're going to go into the event editor. And there's already some coding here. Um, let me uh, create a new thing and go from there. So, group of events. Um, right. Let's go with uh, just name input. I'm sorry, that took so long to come up with. Okay, name input. Now, uh, nothing to do with starter frame. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, move left, move right, yada, yada, yada. So shoot, I probably shouldn't even bother with that. I'll just copy paste it. So when you move right, that's going to add one to counter. Because this is a counter object, uh, whenever you move uh, you know, right, that's a one frame, two frames, three frames, etc. So it's adding to the counter, aka the frames. So yeah. Move left, and you'll be subtracting from the counter. One. But if you move up and down, well, you know, there's a bit of a difference there. And here I have it at 21, because uh, there's not exactly 21 here, but, uh, you know. That's why it jumps around there, but at the same time, it's quicker than, huh, it's skipping. Oh, wait, that's because I had to code in twice. So, uh, yeah, let me move this one down, copy, paste that. Oops, didn't mean to do that. But you know what, that's fine. I'm going to delete these. Oh, not that. I might still need that. Okay. And here's where I forget how he explained how this worked. But, um, shoot. If I'm pressing spacebar, you're going to want to put in the code or copy. Okay, so this is where things are going to get a bit complicated. Uh, shoot. Okay. You're going to want to change octopus string. And then player one's name. Optible, and make that optimal string. Plus. And then we go to string tokenizer, get element, and then let's see here. I get this as a reference. Okay, string tokenizer. Okay, so then we have. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go back a bit. But, Value, you, 
counter. Negative two, or was it uh, negative two? Nice and close bracket. I believe that would be, there we go. So value, uh, parentheses, quotation marks counter, that would be, uh, shoot, this counter, the, uh, with the numbers, negative two. And what this tells it is to, uh, you know, um, set how to cycle through the uh, coding here. Oh, and also, did I implement that yet? No, I don't think so. Okay, so that's what it does. I'm probably pressing space bar. Okay, 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 that was a mistake. Okay. So we're gonna wanna split the string name and put, multiple string. Oops. Okay, there we go. And this one is just a space. That's it. So this basically splits up um, the text when you press spacebar. I'll show you. So basically, we're almost done here. Um, what this tells it is to, like, when you press spacebar, that'll tell, uh, huh. Oh, there we go. The name I put to, uh, Put in the uh, thing. I'll just go with Axel because it's really short. Okay. And then, okay. Insert. Uh, no, wait, no. Upon pressing, enter. It'll shoot. Okay. Next frame, but importantly, so. Just in case something goes wrong, you wanted to remember the name. Set global value of, well, I probably should have changed it to one. Um, what this is supposed to be is to save your name just in case, uh, you know, just so I don't remember it. Or, you know, just search the conditions you want to change later. And upon pressing R, restart the current frame in case you, uh, mess up all right i hope this tutorial was useful i know i kind of messed up in some places especially towards the end but if you've done everything right it uh, should work huh i had to put it in twice that was weird i wonder if that was because oh no i did not I need to delete that Control z I don't know what's up with that. Nope, I can't leave that at two. Sorry, I'm just fiddling around here. I don't know what was up. I had to press spacebar twice to uh, make it work. Anyway, I'm sure I'll figure it out later. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. And oh, another thing, make sure that this player one's name is a global object. I forgot about that. Make sure this is a global object and everything should be fine. Okay, if you have any more questions, uh, please ask in the comments. Thanks for watching.